The Middle Ages are often known for tall castles, their princesses and knights in shining armor. But don't be fooled into thinking that's the whole picture. No, medieval Europe was a surprising place, a time of great change and upheaval filled with shocking and unexpected facts that will leave you reeling. From the mystery of the town where people literally danced themselves to death, to, and I promise I'm not making this up, divorce by combat, get ready to have your minds blown. On today's episode of History Unveiled, it's 10 surprising facts about the Middle Ages you didn't get taught in school. Divorce by Combat Yes, you heard that right. Divorce by Combat, also known as Trial by Combat, which many of you Game of Thrones fans might be familiar with, was an actual legal mechanism for resolving disputes over marriage in medieval Europe. The practice allowed one party to a marriage to challenge the other to a duel to prove the validity of their claim for divorce. The winner of the duel would be granted a divorce, while the loser would be forced to technically remain in the marriage. This practice was most common in the Germanic legal system, and one method was particularly strange. The husband would be positioned in a hole that reached his waist, armed with a club, while the wife stood at the edge of the hole armed with a cloth sling that had a stone weighing four or five pounds at one end. Both the club and the sling were the same length, and how the winner would be decided exactly remains unclear, although historians assume it involved death or disembowelment. Toilets could be deadly this one is not for the faint of heart. Sewage systems were basically non-existent in medieval Europe, meaning that human waste was often collected in giant underground cesspools which, if not managed correctly, could become deadly. The Erfurt latrine disaster is a horrible example of such. On the morning of July 26th, the wooden second-story floor of the Citadel building collapsed due to the combined weight of the nobles assembled within, resulting in the majority of them falling through and becoming trapped in the latrine cesspit below the ground floor. Tragically, around 60 of them drowned to death in the liquid excrement. And that's not the only strange, waste-related fact about the Middle Ages. There were also such a thing as gong farmers, also known as nightmen, who harvested human excrement from castle moats in Wales and England and then sold it on to local farmers who in turn used it as fertilizer to grow crops. Well, if my job here on History Unveil goes down the pan, it's nice to know there are other career options out there. Life was short and death was everywhere. During the Middle Ages, life expectancy varied greatly depending on one's social class. The average life expectancy for a noble was around 35 to 40 years, while for the lower classes, it was closer to just 20 to 25 years. This disparity can be attributed to factors such as access to healthcare, nutrition and living conditions. Nobles had better access to these resources than the lower classes who had to fight for survival. One of the biggest killers in the Middle Ages was disease. The Black Death, also known as the bubonic plague, swept through Europe in the 14th century and claimed the lives of an estimated 25 million people, around a third of the continent's population. Another major cause of death in the Middle Ages was childbirth. Women of childbearing age had a high risk of dying during pregnancy or childbirth due to lack of proper medical care and knowledge, and about one in six births resulted in death. Odds I'd be pretty happy to pass up on. Fire was a constant threat. Fires were a common and constant threat in medieval cities. With the majority of buildings being made of wood and thatched roofs, it only took a single spark to set an entire neighborhood ablaze. In fact, the Great Fire of London in 1666 was not the first time the city had been devastated by fire. In the year 1212, a fire swept through London, destroying much of the city and leaving thousands homeless. To combat the constant threat of fire, many medieval cities implemented strict building codes and firefighting measures. Some cities required that buildings be made of stone or brick instead of wood, and that roofs be made of tile or metal instead of thatch. Additionally, cities appointed fire wardens to keep watch for fires and organized volunteer fire brigades to quickly respond to outbreaks. Hallucinogenic bread Yes, you heard that right. 
Hallucinogenic bread, also known as witch's bread, was a relatively common phenomenon in medieval Europe. The bread was made from a type of fungus called ergot, which grows on rye and other cereal grains. Ergot contains a chemical compound called lysergic acid, which is similar in structure to the active ingredient in LSD. When bread was made from contaminated grain, it could cause a condition known as ergotism. Symptoms of ergotism included hallucination, convulsions, and gangrene. In extreme cases, it could even lead to death. Many historians believe that the widespread use of ergot-contaminated bread may have contributed to the belief in witchcraft and sorcery in medieval Europe. People who consumed the bread would experience hallucinations and strange behavior, leading their communities to believe they were possessed by evil spirits, which was not a good look during the Middle Ages. Traders traveled surprisingly far. Medieval Europe was a bustling hub of trade and commerce, with merchants and traders traveling far and wide to bring goods and ideas from one corner of the continent to another, with many going further than you might imagine. One of the most impressive feats of medieval trade was the journey of the Venetian merchants. These merchants traveled all the way to China and the Far East, bringing back precious spices, silks, and other luxury goods. Many traders died on the road, either by accident, disease, or fell prey to bandits, and many traders never returned home. The medieval trade was a risky business, but it was also a way to make a living and see the new world. Now, if you're enjoying this dive into the lesser-known facts of medieval life, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It only takes a second, but it's the easiest way to support us and means you get to see more of the content you find most interesting here on History Unveiled. There were many types of marriage. Marriage in medieval Europe was often less about romantic love and more about forming political alliances, securing property, and ensuring the continuation of a family line. Upper-class marriages were usually arranged by parents, and the couple would often not meet until their wedding day. The Catholic Church played a major role in regulating marriages, and the Church's rules were often strictly enforced. However, the most common form of marriage was common law marriage, where a couple lived together and had a committed relationship without officially getting married, and was particularly popular among the lower classes. However, these unions were not recognized by the Church or by law, and the couple didn't have the same legal rights as those who were officially married. People danced to death. The Dancing Plague of Strasbourg, also known as the Dance Epidemic of 1518, was a bizarre phenomenon that swept through the city of Strasbourg in the summer of 1518. It all began when a local woman stepped into the streets and began dancing uncontrollably. Soon, dozens of people joined in, and within a week, hundreds of people were caught up in the dancing frenzy. The dancing continued day and night, with some dancers collapsing from exhaustion and many of them even dying from heart attacks or strokes. The dancing lasted for several months and claimed the lives of dozens of people. No one knows for sure what caused the outbreak, but some theorists suggest that it may have been caused by mass hysteria, a reaction to extreme stress, or even the ingression of ergot, the fungus present in witch's bread that we mentioned earlier. Doctors drilled holes in people's heads. Trepanning, also known as trephination, was a surgical procedure that was practiced in medieval Europe and other parts of the world. The procedure involved drilling or scraping a hole into the skull, often in an attempt to treat conditions such as headaches, seizures, and mental illnesses. The belief was that these conditions were caused by an excess pressure within the skull, which could be relieved by creating an opening. Trepanning was performed using primitive tools such as a drill or a chisel, and often resulted in serious complications such as infection, brain damage, and death. Despite the risks, trepanning was a commonly used surgical technique in medieval times, and it wasn't until the development of modern medicine that the practice was phased out. Animals could be criminals. That's right, during the Middle Ages, animals were put on trial for a variety of alleged crimes, such as theft, vandalism, and even murder. These trials were conducted in a similar manner to human trials, with a judge, jury, and legal representation for the animal. 
the accused animal would be presented in front of a court and evidence would be presented against it. The verdicts were often harsh, with guilty animals being executed or exiled. And these animal trials were not limited to one specific location or time period. They were a common occurrence throughout medieval Europe and were accepted as legal proceedings, with the results often being catastrophic for the accused. Ah, oh, forget it, I'll see myself out. Sometimes reality is stranger than fiction, as is the case for many of these surprising medieval facts. If you thought of something that wasn't mentioned on the list, drop it down in the comments section and maybe we'll do a future video on it. Be sure to check out the rest of the channel for more videos uncovering what life was like during the Middle Ages. And don't forget to subscribe so we see you here next time on History Unveiled.